Hi and welcome to another video by me, Flo Joe. Today we're going to be looking at the intersection function. So we're going to start with an array of Joe, Jacks and Meg. But we're also going to create an object of name one, name two, name three of Joe, Jacks and Meg. And Jacks and Meg are my cats if you're wondering who these are. So let's actually take a look at the collection example then. So we've got a names array of Joe, Jacks and Meg, and then we've got a people array of Flo, Jacks and Meg. So as you can see here, the only difference is Joe and Flo. So when we pass in our names and people array into our intersection, what's actually going to do is it's going to look at what actually occurs in both. And then it's going to produce a third array, which is the output of intersection. And it's going to give us back Jax and Meg because they appear in both arrays. So it's an easy way of comparing and retrieving what actually occurs in both arrays. You can also do this as an object. Now let's create a names object, name one, Joe, name two, Jax, name three, Meg. And let's create a people's object, all exactly the same, except name one is going to be Flo instead of Joe. We're going to then pass both of these objects into the intersection function. And then we're going to get a return of name two Jacks and name three Meg because they occur in both objects. So let's actually take a look at this on Power Automate then. Okay, so we're on Power Automate then and we've got our manual trigger here. On the left hand side we are creating a names array and we're just passing in Joe Jacks and Meg. And then we're doing the correct names array, which is Joe Jacks and Meg, exactly the same as the name array. But we're then also doing an incorrect names array, which is Flo, Jacks and Meg. So obviously Flo and Joe have been replaced there. And then what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using the intersection function and just passing in the two arrays, which is the correct names array and the names array. And then we're going to be checking the same for the incorrect names array and the names array to see what the differences are. Then we're going to be creating a object at the same time where we're doing name one, name two, and name three for Joe, Jacks, and Meg. And then we're going to be doing the correct names object exactly the same as the correct names array. And then we're going to be doing the incorrect names object exactly the same as the incorrect names array. And then we're going to be just passing in uh, the intersection function with the actual object names as well as uh, the incorrect object name. So let's actually get this running then and let's actually see how it works. So as you can see our flow ran successfully. We created our arrays, we created our objects and then we did a comparison of our arrays and we did a comparison of our objects. So in here we're expecting Joe, Jax and Meg because they are exactly the same. Joe, Jax and Meg there. So if we have a look at the names we see Joe, Jax and Meg and the correct names object it's Joe, Jax and Meg. So what it's done is it's compared each of them um, and it said these are the three that are actually the same in both which we were expecting and then what has actually happened with the incorrect names array because incorrect name has flow rather than Joe which it was expecting what it's done is it actually has given us an array back of just Jax and Meg because they are the names that occur in both of them and obviously it's removed Flo and Joe because they don't occur and we're expecting that for the same as the object. See, you can see here Jax and Meg, uh, it appears in here as Jax and Meg, but there's no Flo because there is no Flo in the original names object, it is Joe. And that is how you use the intersection function for both collections and objects in Power Automate. That's it from me, Flojo. Check out my blog at flojo.io for more guides on the Power Platform. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.